G'day internet, it's uh, CJ with you again, and um, another short one today. I've got loads of content waiting in the wings, guys, I promise, but it's just a case of finding time to edit and you know, finish editing and recording little bits of dialogue or uh, voiceover and stuff that I want to add to them, so coming soon, I promise. Anyway, I've got this Kai Ritsu Q. 1021R, KW 1021R multimeter um, as part of my new tools for the electronics apprenticeship that I started at the start of this year, which is going well. And I'm just having a bit of a look at it. I've done a bit of a review on this on, on a forum that I frequent. And I'm just opening it up to have a bit of a look inside. And it's pretty well built, man. This cost me $109 plus GST trade price. I like the sprung battery contacts, that's a good idea. It's got, tri uses triple A's, that's a winner. That is a winner right there. No more finding a nine volt and having to stick it on your tongue to make sure it's good before putting it in your meter. Um, but the thing that caught my eye, uh, so here's obviously, you get a nice good quality, high rupture capacity 10 amp fuse for the 10 amp current shunt input there. And you can see the anti-tracking slot um, between the input side of the current shunt and the common terminal there. But what's this about? At first glance, I thought that was a little ne a little filament lamp, but it looks to me like a neon. And I think that's being used for high voltage protection on the, on the voltage input and the resistance input there. But, uh, I think that's what it's for. I think I vaguely remember seeing this since elsewhere. But um, if you know, pop a comment down below. Let me know. I'd appreciate it. Cheers, guys.